But even early on, literally the first day, Chiwetel was having to disguise his looks. He's dressed very much as Mordo is dressed throughout the film. Uh, when he's following me through the streets of Kathmandu, which is, like I said, the, you know, where we started our shoot. And he had to disguise it. And he had this really tight lumberjack shirt over this bulking costume. He's obviously, you know, he's a ripped guy underneath that costume as well. And then they gave him these khaki trousers to put over the rest of it. He just looked like this kind of inflated version of him. This head just shrunk with no neck. And he goes, yep, just a regular Joe going about my day. <laughs> Kathmandu. It's just really funny. I don't know why that kind of became a bit of a, a running joke for a while, but... You know, this was a, a really, really joyous film. There were a lot of laughs. I mean, I tried to make Rachel McAdams laugh by making it, well, I made her jump out of her skin. I was half dead on the gurney, being wheeled in for the umpteenth operation, and I just decided, just as she was, she was sort of leaning in to go, ah! and just give her a, <laughs> give her a fright, uh, which she never forgave me for, but she got her own back. Um, Tilda is a terrible giggler. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt's had some interesting run-ins with his wires uh, during some of our fight scenes, which were brutally funny, more brutal for him and more funny for us. He just got on with it. Oh, I've got another one, it's okay. Oh. Well, it's sort of at his expense, but <laughs> Benedict had to, you know, he was wearing a lot of, he had a lot of facial hair, but sometimes he'd have to go back to being clean shaven, like we were jumping between, you know, the hospital stuff early on and then when he becomes Doctor Strange later. So sometimes he had to have some facial hair glued on. But if he laughed while he was wearing it, it would come unstuck and sort of flap in the wind. So he had to, and we were laughing all the time, and he sort of had to laugh like, <laughs> like a little like Santa Claus, you know? And it's just, and he <laughs> try to hold the beard on and the makeup artist, makeup artist would come by and say, stop laughing. We get so mad at him. And it was just very cute and endearing. The stuff with the cloak was really funny to me. Uh, the moment of when the cloak wipes Benedict's tears was Benedict's idea, and I remember thinking what an ingenious idea that was. I thought that was really funny. And uh, watch, watching the stunt guys work uh, when the cloak has itself wrapped around the zealot's head and is thro throwing him around the hallway. Uh, I remember laughing that day, because the poor stunt guy was just getting his head slammed into the... You know, I guess cruelty is comedy, right? Uh, but every time I watch the movie, I find that scene hysterically funny. I mean, as I've worked on it, it never is not funny to me. And then lastly, uh, Benedict Wong's laugh at the end. That is the most infectious laugh in any movie ever. Well, there was one moment, I believe, when I really felt that this is fun, and that that's me throwing Strange around like a ragdoll through some glass cabinets. And at one point, I have a sword. I, I go for him, and he ducks, and I, I go right through that glass cabinet. And we had a real sword, a real heavy metal one, for me to, to penetrate that whole thing. So it had to be very precise, and he had to duck himself at the right moment, and we rehearsed it again and again, and it was quite scary. But the second I, we do it, and I go all the way through, before they say cut, you can just see my face go all big smile, <laughs> because it was so hard not to laugh. It's like your father paying you to break your neighbor's windows. It's just perfect.